Kia ora year 10. In this video we're going to look at how we can convert between different currencies around the world using exchange rates. And the examples I'm going to work with here are mostly eBay and TradeMe ones. And you guys are growing up doing much, much more of this than when I was a kid, so the skills should feel a little bit more familiar. I'm going to start by giving you some examples of different exchange rates, just to get an idea of how they work. And these change all the time, but I just grabbed them from the internet now. Now, when you're doing these in the context of a maths problem, you'll be given the exchange rate. So you don't need to worry about whether you've got the right number or not. But in reality, you might want to think about what happens if this changes, if it goes up or down a little bit, how that would affect what you were buying or selling, or the value of what you were buying or selling. So we'll, we'll go with one New Zealand dollar is 0.7318 US dollars. So what does that mean? Well, if I took a New Zealand dollar into the bank and said I would like to convert this for a US dollar, they would laugh at you. They would say, it's only one dollar, go away. So let's try 100 New Zealand dollars. What would I get if I went into the bank and I said I want to swap this into US dollars? Well, the bank would say, well, one New Zealand dollar is worth 0.7318 US dollars. So 100 is worth 100 lots of that. And that would give me 73 US dollars and 18 cents. Now this gives you a big clue as to how we're going to solve all of the problems here. And it's we're going to work with this kind of diagram. So if I had a thousand New Zealand dollars, what would the bank give me? Well, let's see, one times a thousand New Zealand dollars. So we have to do the same thing to the US dollar. If one New Zealand dollar is worth this many US dollars, 1,000 will be worth 0 0.7318 times 1,000 US dollars. Okay, so 731 US dollars and 80 cents. Now, you probably realize that it's not actually that simple. The banks want to make money when you swap your money from one to the other, so they're going to charge you a little bit of that amount for the privilege of doing the conversion. But because we're working with a simplified maths problem, we're not going to worry about those charges. Okay, so that's the first example of one particular currency, which is the New Zealand dollar to the US dollar one. We're going to move on now and get into some problems in different currencies. Okay, here's our first example. So try and do this with me in your book. We've got an Xbox console on eBay and it costs 60 pounds. Delivery is free at the moment and we just need to work out what it costs in New Zealand dollars. So we're going to start out by saying, well, we've got one New Zealand dollar is worth 0.5281 British pounds. But really, we want to figure out the other way around how much is one British pound. So what can I do to this number here to make it be worth one GBP? Well I can divide by 0.5281 and I'm going to do the same thing over here, divided by 0.5281. So that will give me here 1.89 3.6 NZD is equal to 1 British pound. So that's the hard part of the problem done. Now I need to know what 60 of those pounds are worth. So I'm going to times by 60 here and times by 60 here. And that gives me 113.62 in New Zealand dollars is, is worth 60 pounds. So that's how much the Xbox console would cost in New Zealand dollars. Now if you're finding this step uncomfortable, just think about some of the problems we've done where we've got nine kilograms of apples costing five dollars. It's exactly the same method, it's what we call unitary method. Okay, it just is worse because we've got all of those decimals. So now we're going to do two more examples. One's going to be very similar and then one's going to be a bit different. Alright, so this time we've got a Lord of the Rings trading card set selling for 1500 euros and the seller is in Italy and there's still no delivery charge so what we have to work out 
is how many New Zealand dollars that's going to cost. So we're going to start with the exchange rate. One New Zealand dollar is equal to 0.5939 euros. I want to work out, first of all, what's one euro worth. So I'm going to divide by 0.5939 and I'm going to do that to my one New Zealand dollar. So that the number we're getting here is going to be bigger than one. Let's see what we get. We get 1.6838 NZD is equal to one euro. So this is my exchange rate the other way around. And that's the way I need it because I need to now work out the value of 1500 euros. So I'm going to multiply both of those by 1500 and I'm going to get let's see what am I going to get um, 2525 and 68 cents right so I've converted euros into New Zealand dollars now let's have a look at that answer and see if it makes sense so we've got 1500 euros and we know from our exchange rate that one New Zealand dollar is worth less than one euro. So that means it's going to cost me more than 1,500 New Zealand dollars to buy the trading card set. Okay, so that's how we solve those types of problems. The next one is a little bit easier. This time, you're selling your old Lego set to save up for a mountain bike. So you put your Indiana Jones set on Trade Me and someone buys it for 65 New Zealand dollars. This time we want to work out what is the cost in US dollars going to be to the buyer in the US. So we've got one New Zealand dollar is equal to 0.7318 US dollars. So let's look at what we've got to work out. We need to know the value of 65 New Zealand dollars. But we already know the value of 1, so we just multiply both sides by 65. So 65 New Zealand dollars is equal to this number times 65, which gives me 47 US dollars and 57 cents. So that one is much, much easier. When you're working with exchange rates, always check the direction that you have to go in, um, because if you get one like this, it's going to be a pretty straightforward problem. Alright, that's all for now. Um, there are lots of good questions to work with in the Walker workbook and we'll talk about some other ones in class. Thanks for watching.